Hello, 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 and welcome to Motivation Monday. I'm Megan, and I'm here in the boutique of the Novitas Spa and Medical Rejuvenation Clinic. And I wanted to share a quote that I read last night on a friend of mine, uh, Adam Marburger's uh, post, and he didn't post it, but someone commented back to him. And it was so appropriate that I knew I had to share it with you all today. Life can be a storm, but your hope is a rainbow. Your family and friends are the gold. So we all know at the end of the rainbow is the pot of gold, and that is that friend and family that is all important. But hope leads you to that, because without hope, there is nothing. And life is a storm. And it's not just today and what's going on in the world today. It's, you know, I've lived long enough to know that there are so many uh, storms and it's how you look at those and how you deal with those and your attitude and your uh, just how you um, focus. Because, to, you know, Zig Ziglar, who's one of my faves, you know, he, one of his quotes is, if there's hope in tomorrow, there's power in today. And why that so resonates with me is because if we absolutely have to um, have goals and plans, desires, you know, all of those things, because without goals and gratitude and planning for the future, there, there is no hope. But the two really are hand in glove together, meaning hope in the future gives you power in today. But you have to take each day and own each day. So then the converse of that is that if you get so hung up in the future and are not focusing on today and the beauty of today and the joy of today and the gift of today, it just never will come. So it's really about that moment in time that is so, so important. You know, most of you know that, and, and this is my first Motivation Monday since the Women's Way Awards last Wednesday, the 17th of June, uh, which we, Novitas Spa Medical Rejuvenation Clinic was a finalist in the product innovation category. And that was just such an amazing honor for me and to me and to my staff, not only because of coming out of being closed for two months, but also about just the years and years that I've been working with this. It was such a wonderful gift, honestly, just a gift. And the poignancy of that gift is also the fact that on March 31st, Rich Ryan came knocking at the door of the Novitas Spa Medical Rejuvenation Clinic here on the square in Georgetown. And what I mean by that is the 31st of March, we were closed. So the door was locked. So he could not open the door. He could not see in the door, really. I had these advertising banners, such as this one here with regenerative. Oh, my goodness. Here's our mailman. Wow, you're late today. <laughs> okay. Okay. And um, so anyhow, we were closed. But I knew when I saw, A, the handwriting on the wall, and B, the reality that we did have to close, that I was not going to go dark. So I just put a, a plan together where I was going to be here every day. I was going to answer the phone. I was going to be able to do curbside with the Novitas Spa clinical products. I would ship all over the country. People would call, place orders, but also stay present with my uh, staff and do Zoom calls three times a week with them. And then we started doing a uh, Facebook Live with them called the Pop-Up Shop and Tuesday and Thursdays. And so I, and then I started my Unique Leaders podcast. So I was here every day and it was a, it was a joy for me because it gave me hope. It gave me purpose. It gave me a focus. And I just continued to do what I do every day, which is work towards the future, work my plans and plan for my, uh, plan for my plans. And so on March 31st, I had finished a uh, Facebook Live, and I went into the spa to turn uh, the lights off and things off, and I was going to leave. And I came out and I heard the door um, or somebody trying to open the door. 
And I then went around this banner here and we had another one with something else next to it. And I went to uh, around it and I looked and there was a man walking away. And I then went to the door, opened it up and I said, may I help you? And he came back and he identified himself and he shared a very strange statement to me at that moment was that he had married Helena on January 2nd. Well, March 31st is a little late for anniversary gift. And so then he said, and this is seconds, and he said, I called you, you answered, you returned my call, but we haven't connected. And I was like, now who is this person? And he then identified that he uh, wanted to speak to me about potentially selling my business. Now, he didn't know much about the businesses, i.e., the hybrid, the clinical medical wellness component to it, I, the regenerative stem cell, and also the fact that I've been manufacturing clinical result-oriented skincare since 1992, um, sold to other spas, medical spas, and of course to the consumer here, and we ship all over the country. And so as we got to know each other and know about the dynamic, it just made so much sense to me about working with Rich Ryan, I guess is what I would say, not partnering, but working with, because he not only has bought Helena's, which is a uh, day spa in Round Rock, but also the original flagship Helena, which is on Burnett Road in Austin, not too far from the domain, and 183, if anyone knows Austin. And then he, in the middle of the pandemic, after he met me, he purchased the Woodhouse Spa in Westlake. Wow. So all of these, with the exception of Novita, is a um, traditional day spa. But he recognized, and that's why he approached me, that they needed the, not necessarily hybrid, because I don't think he knew that word or a concept of that, but they needed medical. They needed wellness to them. And so I now have joined Rich in a consulting fashion to roll out the hybrid program with clinical medical wellness, as well as the Novitas Spa clinical products in all of these locations, as well as any other acquisitions that he may, may purchase uh, in the future. His background is, um, he was a senior vice president for Rush Enterprises, which is a publicly traded trucking company. And his job with them for over the years was to work in acquisitions and then joining these new distributors into the family of the Rush Industries and building morale, building team. So he knows how to do that. And so it that's really his anointing. Very smart businessman, very smart man, and a nice, nice person. I really like Rich Ryan. I have been approached before, and I was not interested because the, the dynamic wasn't the right time, and it wasn't the right structure. This is the right time and it's the right structure. So I, as I said, this is the first time I've gone live with you to share this. I have done a um, um, uh, webinar, I did a webinar with a trade publication last week uh, called Dermoscope and I did share that with, it, with them, but that was coming from a different place because that was about my um, uh, spa training program that are called the five C's. So I was working on that with them. So that, but in the story of that was basically, this is part of my history. Now it's part of me that I have sold this business in the middle of a pandemic in a lockdown to Rich Ryan, um, who is uh, just joining forces with myself as well as his acquisitions. And so it's very, very exciting, but I can also, do the projects that I want to do, such as coaching and speaking and writing and consulting um, in doing uh, in retreats, other things that I have been wanting to do and not had the time to do. But I can honestly say to you guys, I can honestly say that on March 31st, not knowing when we would open again, that as the days were going by and not a you know, very uh, pennies were coming in, but that it was not in business. This spa was not in business. And I had no idea other than 
trusting in the Lord with all my heart and leaning not on my own understanding and in all my ways, acknowledging him and he directing my path. And so this is an amazing, amazing uh, blessing to me, uh, to my staff, to our guests, our, our clients, because this will not only remain the same, but it will just grow. It'll evolve again because I have been evolving this business from the day I started it in 2005. I'm talking about the Novitas Spa. So I'd like to take a minute and say hello to who is visiting with us and uh, Don Barney and Ron Parks. Hello, Ron. He's my neighbor upstairs, fabulous photographer here in Georgetown. Albert Garcia. Albert's known me for a long time here at uh, the Novitas Spa Medical Rejuvenation Clinic. Uh, Tiffany Kahn, my dear friend. Hello, hello. And Phil uh, Gingris. Hello, Santa Phil. Just an icon in Georgetown. Thank you for joining me today. And um, someone said to me recently that I was an icon on the Georgetown Square in Georgetown. That will never change. The, the history of this will live on. As my dear friend Sharon Lecter said, um, that, uh, to that in business, you need to create a, po uh, a powerful impact uh, and live your legacy. And uh, that is what I'm going to do, meaning that this legacy of Novitas Spa clinical products, which was started in 1992, a pioneer in clinical result-oriented skincare, as well as the Novitas Spa Medical Rejuvenation Clinic that has been evolving because it started out as the Novitas Spa on the square. And then in 2013, I added the medical component to this. And then in 19, added the medical wellness with the regenerative stem cell for health and wellness, as well as medical aesthetics. So it's just been a very interesting, very exciting evolution. But it's now time for me to not only help Rich Ryan with his growth of his uh, Helena group, but also and other acquisitions that he will do, I assure you of that, but also to you uh, in the marketplace in the world, my heart is to help you build your businesses to begin. And that's what the five C's are. It's clarity, conviction, confidence, cur well, courage, confidence, and compassion to begin to build and to sustain a successful business. Now, these five C's can be applicable to any business. It's not just an aesthetic business, but that is what I have intimately been involved with for all of my um not all of my business career, but for the almost the last 30 years. So it's just exciting for me to share this with you. As I said, we've put it on eBlast in copy, in text. It's on my blog on novitaspa.com. And um, we've eBlasted out to our members. We've e put it in eBlast. But this is me sharing my heart and sharing with you. And so Phyllis Forsey, thank you for joining. Uh, I have no glasses on, um, but David Schwartz, hello, hello. Welcome to Motivation Monday. And, you know, we as humans tend to lump everything together. You know, oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God, you turn on the news and there's a, you know, Sahara's uh, sandstorm. I mean, what else is going to happen, guys? I mean, it is... God speaking to us, yes. But the thing is that it's not to lump it all into a yuck. It is about breaking it down into small manageable parts and to understand what is that clarity. What do you want to accomplish? Break it down. And that's why I loved this because, you know, we all are having challenges on some level. On some level, there's challenges. I want to go to New Jersey in August for my birthday and right now, I couldn't go to New Jersey. Now, it doesn't mean that it won't change in uh, you know a month. I'm not saying that. Uh, but what I am saying is right now, I couldn't get to New Jersey if I wanted to. And so I'm not fretting about that. I'm looking at other alternative plans, how I, even if it stayed the way it is, what I might do. But, but break things down into small manageable parts. And that's why to me, faith is so all important. And life can be a storm. Man, can it be a storm? I mean, I've been through many, many tsunamis, as I call it, where everything is just swirling around me and I'm holding on to that tree for dear life that I would not be pulled down into that current. And so life 
can be a storm. Doesn't mean it is, but it can be a storm if you allow it to be. But your hope is a rainbow. Your hope is that bridge. Visualize a, a, a rainbow. It's that bridge. It's that bridge. And your family and friends and people that are important to me, you, are your gold. I shared with you that I was here every day, every day. But there's a young lady sitting next to me, Elizabeth Hauser, and she essentially is my producer. And she's my graphic artist and my, uh, we interface on everything. And we developed a new website during this lockout, so to speak, megandimartino.com and a new Facebook page, which I would love you guys to go to because when it's appropriate, when we get to about 500 friends, we're going to switch over to that and that will be my business site. And then um, this will be my personal site. Facebook page, I should say, not site. So we did that also in April when we were locked out. So I was not uh, not nominated. I was uh, uh, awarded as a finalist for the Women's Way Awards. I mean, I have been going to those awards for many years. They're beautiful. They're wonderfully put on by Austin Women Magazine, uh, the publisher and founder, Melinda Garvey. Um, but guess what? No, 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 it was not going to be at JW Marriott this year because of this. It was going to be on a Zoom call. She did a magnificent job, she and her team. But regardless, it was not with all that fanfare and all of that. But you know what? It doesn't matter because <clears throat> truly what was so important to me was that I was, uh, I was recognized and that for all of these years. And the interesting thing about that is I've never been a huge uh, seeker of awards. I just seek to do my work and to be rewarded by the people I bless and help. That has been my motivation throughout my career. But in January, when I received an email from Austin Women's Magazine saying on the subject line that it was um, uh, submissions for um, different categories were open for the Women's Way Awards. And something hit me with that. My spirit said, you know, pay attention. So whatever. And then I continued to see those emails and didn't or did pay attention, but they kind of just started to stir in my spirit. And then I got the February issue and on the cover, it said submissions for Women's Way Awards. And that something then said, it's time time. What does that mean? So I took the issue with me just to kind of remind me of that and put it in my work um, folder because I was going to Colorado to be with my grandson, Nicholas, when his folks were going away on vacation. And he's 16, almost 16, he's going to be 16 in September. And he was a DACA, DECA, not DACA, <laughs> DECA, oh my God, DECA, a, a distributor, Distributive Education, I don't know what C stands for, um, Association or Alliance, but it's for uh, kids all over the United States to help them develop <laughs> develop um, business skills in different categories. And Nicholas um, submitted, submitted, um, or, or not submitted, he, um, what's the word, he, uh, with, I guess live, not submission, but he uh, put his name in the ring with DECA and, uh, and then um, worked with the coach and then was uh, uh, competed, that's the word, competed against other kids. Now, Nicholas is a freshman and going into sophomore year now, but he was a freshman at the time and uh, competed against juniors and seniors that had been competing for many years now. And he uh, was awarded a slot to go to Colorado Springs and compete with uh, the state. So that was just regional. So he was going to compete with the state. And that was during the time when his folks were going to be away. So I went as a chaperone and went with Nicholas to Colorado Springs. And I share that because when Nicholas was in school during the week, because that was on the weekend, uh, I had work that I had put aside to writing and you know, creating, but I had time to really study what the submission required 
And I decided I'm going to give it a shot. Kept hearing it's time. And so I put in for two categories, which you could do. And one was product development and the other was kind of a general one. And, uh, and so I was called early April, April 6th to be exact, because I was driving to have dinner with my dear friend, Jan Goss Gibson. And this woman called me and shared and asked me to send my headshot by Friday. This was a Wednesday. And I said, I've missed something. And she said, oh, didn't you see your email from yesterday? I said, no. And she said, well, you're a finalist for the Women's Way Awards. I said, wow. I said, what category? She said, we won't let you know until June. So it was then though published, meaning my headshot and the information uh, in the May issue uh, that we Novitas Spa and Medical Rejuvenation Clinic was a finalist. So, wow, guys, I have been working on this. My point is not to boast. That is not my point at all. My point is that you never know when God is going to say, okay, it's time to shift the furniture. It's time to make a change. You just don't know. What you do need to do is take that first step and the second and third step will be revealed to you. Now in my book, Hope and Possibilities, Just Over the Horizon, It's Never Too Early or Too Late to Create the Life of Your Dreams, basically shares the story of so many. The, the key word used today is pivot. Holy moly, guacamole, how many times I have pivoted in my life. But it is bottom line is I have been very clear on my purpose and my passion and on some level my talent and I have then continued to pivot evolve I would rather use I guess and, and evolve from one step to the next step and always listening and taking those guide guiding steps so again I heard it's time I then put that submission in it took me a couple of days to you know, because it was, uh, you know, different points that they wanted you to, to share. So I took my time in writing it and then finally hit the submission, I mean, send button. And then, you know, uh, that was February, February 20 something. And uh, then April 6th, I got that call. I really had forgotten about it. And it was uh, just such a blessing because Rich had already knocked on my door the 31st of March, we were in conversation by this point. And then this happened and it just really solidifies, solidifies all of this work over these years. But as I shared with you, it's not about awards. It's about really this to me, this award was as much for my staff who've been with me 10, eight, seven, five, the, the individual that's been here the shortest I think is six uh, six years six five to six years so the we have worked together we have built this business together certainly the medical rejuvenation component of this business so it's as much for them but it is also a just a recognition of a it's time to go on and God is moving the furniture and it's time to do that next step be working with rich and I'll be uh, implementing and rolling out this you know, my living legacy, create maximum impact. Um, and, and then, you know, cause that really is my heart is to help others really succeed in what their dreams, goals, and desires are. So again, I'm just going to share life can be a storm, but your hope is a rainbow and your family and friends are the gold. And, you know, scripture says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence not yet seen. So if you break that down, faith, faith is walking, knowing, visualizing, speaking, writing those goals, faith. Faith is the substance. It's not just this amorphous thing. It is a substance of things hoped for and evidence not yet seen. So a few more people have come on. And so Bill Haley and Miles Compton and Scotty Saul. Hello, my love. Hello, hello. And Anna Cummings and Ronnie Zapata. So good to have you with me today. And uh, Scotty knows about hope. She's my hope and possibilities girl. And she is just, may, uh, you know, that lady, I've known Scotty since I came to Georgetown, Texas in 2004. Probably met you in five. But uh 
you know, we um, have crossed many miles together and she has had many pandemics herself and many tsunamis herself. And she's a hope and possibilities girl. She just has true faith, true faith and walks in that faith and, and that faith to guide her to the next step. She is uh, dealing with some health issues and she is just an amazing motivating factor to me. And her Facebook page it has always has some really wonderful things. Her a spelling of her name is, I'm going to say, because it's not the normal Scotty, S-C-O-T-T-Y-E, Saul, S-A-U-L. Often I share her posts because they're so rich and they're so good, but friend her on Facebook. She, she You will be blessed by being her friend as well. So guys, I just wanted to share today that um, I'm looking at the time. Um, I wanted to share that point with you, not point, the reality with you. Um, I went to a little grocer today uh, down the street from the spa, and the young man said to me, did you sell your business? And I said, wow, did you read the article in the uh, Williamson County Sun? He said, no, someone shared it. So the news is out there. So guess what? I wanted you to have this news because many of you, my Facebook friends are all over the country. Several of you are here in Georgetown and so several here um, would probably get our e-blast, maybe not. So if not, you may not have known this. Uh, therefore, I wanted to share this personally. This is a huge blessing but I really am sharing this in the vein of hope and infinite possibilities, infinite possibilities just over the horizon. We just have to get out of our own way, create a different mindset, stay in that positive mindset. If when I was told that um, I could see, as I said, the handwriting on the wall that we were going to have to close, but if I was, um, you know, so I prepared for that with my staff, with our guests, meaning it wasn't just this abrupt closure. I took my time. I made a decision so that the, uh, the spa coordinators could call our guests and, you know, share with them that we were closing. We'd be open mid-April. I didn't know. Uh, we were told that, but we did not know. But we prepared for it. And so life is about preparation. It's about working in that moment preparing for the future, hope and infinite possibilities just over the horizon. To me, that's that rainbow. Life can be a storm, but there's always hope. And that is that rainbow. There's always hope. And when you lose that hope, you have stopped. And I was reading um, Benny Johnson's book, The Power of Communion. And um, I've put her quote about hope in things I write all the time, but she was saying hope is as much as a bee creating a hive and ants creating a colony, meaning this is what they know to do. This is what they do. This is what is in their DNA. And so they are naturally building that hive, naturally building that colony. And so we as humans are building that hope for the future, because regardless of what is on TV, what is going on in, in general, general, God is in control. But also what you're thinking today will be your tomorrow. So you must change your mindset. It must be, and it's not easy sometimes. It is not, trust me, I understand. But you must change that mindset from fear to, to faith, to always put that hope and knowing that there is hope. That's why I would say probably my most recited back through me is that Proverbs 3, 5, 6, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. That's the kicker. Because if you stay in your own understanding, oh my God, I have this bill. I have this uh, health issue. I have <clears throat> on and on and on on your own understanding and in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will direct your path. Again, did I expect when I closed on March 21st that Rich Ryan would come to my door on March 31st? Absolutely not. Absolutely 100% not. 
But I said to myself, I will not go dark. I will not stop. I will stay, as my dad would say, you know, just a happy heart. I will stay with a happy heart and I will smile on my face and I will be uh, uh, present. And so Elizabeth Hauser was game to work with me on all of these projects. And we quarantined together, so to speak. Um, and um, we were the, the only people that we physically saw. She, her husband, yes, but then other than he, it was she and I. And we did so many positive things and so many exciting things uh, that we accomplished during that season. That, again, it started in the mind. Visualization, verbalization, actualization. It's that intention. Take that first step. The second and third step will be revealed to you. So I really invite you to go to novitaspa.com or Megan at, Novita, Megan at megandimartino.com and read my uh, little book. It uh, will give you essentially my life story, but through basically my husband Paul's passing and that story and, and then the impetus to write the book, but it gives you the why and it really gives you the background to all of this. And uh, I really know it will bless you, but it's free, no charge on our websites, novitaspa.com, as well as Megan at novitas, uh, Megan at megandimartino.com. But again, please, please go to, if you haven't already, go and friend me on the official Megan Martino Facebook page. And that will help us to get that going so we can continue to build the business because we have a discovery call area for that, for my Spa in a Box coaching program. So many, many different things, meaning the Spa in a Box and then the five C's. And we're going to be expanding on that. So I really, it would be a great, great blessing to me for you to go over and friend me on the official Megan Martino site. So before I say good night, Doris, hello, my darling, Doris. She is one of my Mercy girls. Um, we went to high school together, Our Lady of Mercy in uh, Long on Long Island. And so Doris was a buddy of mine throughout high school. We did lots of escapades and lots of fun things. And so she is there. Uh, I mean, she's here with me today. And Mike Stevens, welcome. And Laura Kinchale, good to see you, my dear. Thank you so much for joining us. And wasn't Laura one of our... Yes, yeah, she was. She was one of our live winners. So we're going to do a Facebook Live giveaway uh, probably this week or next, but I'm kind of formulating what I want to do. I just shipped out to Megan Watson her uh, Facebook Live gifts. Um, I think it was Friday. So I did that. So I'm, I want to put something special together. We're going to be doing Christmas in July. So here at the spas, at Novita, as well as the Helena group which this will merge into a Helena medical rejuvenation clinic, but you know, that's evolving step-by-step. Step. But <clears throat> with that said, we'll, I want to put together a Christmas in July Facebook live giveaway for, for you guys. So that's coming soon because July 1st is Wednesday, Wednesday, right? 4th of July is Saturday. So my goodness gracious, we're in the summer. I want to tie it together with some product things and, just been thinking about a lot of dynamics that might be good for you and that you would enjoy. So it is Monday and it is the 29th of uh, June. And again, I'm not minimizing. I am not minimizing a second. Life can be a storm, but we make it worse. We really do by our minds. The battlefield is in the mind and we just make this mess, this soup of conglomeration of things, break things down into small manageable parts and that your hope is a rainbow, that arch, that possibility and your family and friends. And like I said about this Elizabeth Hauser, if it had not been for she, I would not have accomplished any of the things, any, some, yes, but not any of the fruitful things, no, and are the gold. Today, I started working out. I said that in a, a post earlier, and working out is not the right word, but a program that I started with my dear friend, Nick, and I'm writing down um, what I'm doing and how long I worked out and things of that nature, because I need a coach too, and I truly have said to myself 
that I want to be the best I can be, the healthiest I can be, the strongest I can be, because God is truly moving the furniture and I want to be ready. So I am taking that step and being accountable. So if any of you want to join me, today's the day, kids. I'm beginning and I have begun and I'm accountable to Nick and I will be accountable to you if you'd like to join me. So it's just a good, good day this uh, June 29th, 2020. As Glenn Lundy says, it will never be Monday, June 29th, 2020 again. So seize the day, enjoy the day, and be blessed. Thank you.